Hello everybody, my name is Maggie. I am the other half of the Maggie twins. The other girl is Emily. Today, my video is going to be... Okay, disclaimer. I don't want any of this to offend anybody who doesn't believe in ghosts. So everything I'm about to go through right now happened in this room. Or in this house. So it's kind of ironic that I'm filming in this room, but it is still my room. And I'm not scared of my room. <laughs> Let's get into the video! So this is like, there's so much stuff that happened in this house, but I'm just going to break it down for you. I'm going to start from the beginning where I first started seeing things. And it's going to sound like I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy because other people have seen it too. So when I was little, I used to see this girl... She had like black hair. She would be in that corner. So often nights I would wake up 3 in the morning or something. And she would be just in the corner. And I know a lot of kids see things and stuff like that. But it would be the same thing for me. It would be this girl with long black hair. And then I can't show you. But there's a dresser and it used to be over there. And I'd see her like on her knees just like praying a lot. So when I woke up and I saw that I would scream for my dad. And he would come into my room. And he would, it would just go away once he turned on the lights. And then I'd just be like, it was just something I saw. I can go to bed now. And then once my little brother, he decided to come into my room because he was getting, like, he was scared. So my little brother came into my room because he was getting this weird feeling. This was a long time ago. So he slept in my bed. And he was, it was when my bed was over there, but it was a different direction. And I woke up. And she was right, like, standing right above my bed. Like, at the head of the bed. And I was going to scream, but I knew Blake was right next to me. So I was like, Blake, do you see Do you see that too? And he was like, yeah. And then we both just, like, started screaming. And we ran out of there because at that point, I, was, I thought it was just something that I saw. And then my little brother saw it too. And I was like, okay. Now I'm scared. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention... My neighborhood, there was just a line of houses that was built, and my house and Emily's house actually were both built before everybody else's houses. It was this line of houses all at the same time, 10 houses about. So my house is one of the first ones in my neighborhood, so it's the oldest. So most of the people that live here, they were the first ones to live here. Like Emily, that was her house. They built it and it was her house. But my house, somebody lived here before me, and then we moved into the house. So it kind of freaks me out because I don't know who lived here. In my, all of my doors on my house have like extra locks. So like my front door has three locks on it. So it doesn't just have like one lock. It has one above, one below. And that's because the previous owner got really scared here. And when her husband left, she would like feel the need to put locks on all the doors. So there's even locks on the inside of her house. There's like three locks on the basement door and it's really weird. But you just don't typically see that in a house. So... I'm wondering why she did that. So when I was a child, I had many of those visions that I'd see that girl. Specifically her, I'm not sure why. I'd also have like night terrors and I'd just wake up in the middle of the night screaming because I saw something or I felt weird. Which does seem a little bit crazy, but I don't know if it has anything to do with the house or not. But I'm going to get into some of the stuff that has happened more recently. So not nothing has happened within like the past two years besides just like noises I've heard. But... Um, about it was a while ago like three years ago I don't know my little brother he came into my room and I he was slept, sleeping on my floor I don't remember if it was because he was scared or if he just wanted to I don't know but he was sleeping on my floor I was sleeping on my bed and I woke up at like two in the morning um, to go pee so I went to the bathroom and I came back and he was on his iPad and I was just like why is he on his iPad right now? It's 2 in the morning. I didn't even want to get out of bed to pee. Why is he on the iPad? So I just was like, whatever. I'm just going to go to bed. And then the next night, I completely forgot about it. And then I remembered about it. And I was like, Blake, why were you on the iPad last night? And he just looked at me like, what? I was like, yeah, why were you on the iPad? And then he said, I wasn't on the iPad. Okay. You, what? Huh? What? You weren't? Because it wasn't just like we got a notification and the screen lit up. It was like somebody was scrolling on the iPad. I saw the iPad moving. Then I was just like, 
if he wasn't on the iPad, who was? Because I wasn't. Me and Blake both freaked out. We were like screaming. No, we weren't screaming, but we were both like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure we slept in my parents' room that night. I was probably like 15 years old. No shame. No shame. I was scared to death. And then another thing that happened, which is I just rearranged my room. So that's why my bed's over there, but my bed was way over here, right here. And in the middle of the night, I felt something go like this to my hand. It was super weird because something grabbed onto my hand. And so I grabbed on to the hand so then people would know that the hand was there. I was screaming for my dad and I grabbed onto the hand so then the hand could not leave. It sounds crazy that I would do that, but I didn't want the hand to disappear. I didn't want my dad to come in, turn on the lights, and have it disappear. But that's what happened. My dad came in, he turned on the lights, and the hand was gone. So I really can't describe that one because I still don't understand it myself. All right, we're getting into things that happen to other people. So, my older brother was home from school one day. He came in, went to the kitchen, and there's no like earthquakes or anything here in Minnesota. So nothing would make anything shake in the house. But he just went in the kitchen and the fork was like just going like this. Another thing that happened that's kind of kind of creepy is my friend Claire shout out to you Claire you probably don't watch my videos but <laughs> um, we used to be really good friends in elementary school and she was sleeping in my bed and she was like waking me up I don't remember what she wanted but she needed something I don't remember so she was waking me up I woke up and I thought she was the girl like I thought she the girl was in my bed the one who I see in the corners and I saw praying the one who I see above my bed. I thought she was that girl. So I started punching her and kicking her and like, it was bad. And I was screaming for my dad and my dad came running in and he was trying to explain to me that it was Claire and I didn't know what he was talking about. And then I was like, oh my God. I was punching and kicking my friend who was on the bed who I thought was that creepy girl. And from there I was like, Maggie, you have to, you're not seeing her. Like you need to calm down. She's not here. Since then, I haven't really seen her. I, I haven't. And I don't know if that's because I've gotten older. I don't know if that's because I'm not scared anymore. I don't know. The most recent thing that I've encountered in my house is just hearing the bath run when there's nobody home. Hearing or seeing doors like slam open. They don't just creak open. Like it's not just you didn't for, forgot to close it all the way so it creaks open it slams open and I'm home alone and it slams like you know what it's okay I'm good I'm gonna continue to do my homework and pretend like I never saw that because um that's scary uh, so yeah I know a lot of you guys still won't believe in ghosts you guys don't have to you don't have to believe anything I say even though I'm not making it up I would love to make stuff up and like create good really good stories but I don't even think these were that good I'm just telling you my actual experiences in this house. So that way if I ever die, you know that it's the house. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kind of. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give it a like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. My social media will be in the description along with my best friend, Emily. Don't forget to check out our last video. It was our first vlog ever. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.